This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Sit back and relax. It's time to take a wild trip to the past. Get ready for another exciting episode of Memory Lane. Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Memory Lane. Featuring a Nintendo Power Magazine. This is going to be the first ever magazine episode here on uh, Memory Lane. So let's uh, dive in. We have a January 1998, over 20 years old, Nintendo Power. And I have this covered up right here. Because there's an address right here. Uh, but you can see on the, the actual cover, we have uh, Yoshi Stories. It has an 8-page uh, ordeal. So... All, all kinds of stuff. We got the Japan show unveils N64 titles. WCW versus NWO World Tour, Duke Nukem 64, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, pretty awesome looking uh, title right there. Let's dive in. Let's see if we can discover up the address right here. This, I bought a lot of magazines a while ago, and I was planning on doing episodes for a long time. And uh, right away, we have um, what appears to be, let's see here, what we'll probably do is aim this camera a little bit more down here. It looks like we have Bowser's head with blood on a, on a, like a plate. What the hell is this all about? This is, this time have him for lunch and then it gives you like the uh, a way of subscribing to Nintendo Power so if you have a friend that wants to have the Nintendo Power magazines well here you go you'd give them that little paper and they'd mail that in and they'll get themselves a subscription to Nintendo Power and uh, let's back this up here for a second so we can open this up have any issues okay so here we go we have the table of contents we have the volume 104 January 1998 and it's very very heavily focused on Yoshi story a game that's just coming out all right so down below we have a couple of screenshots for certain things let's uh, see what we have down here we're gonna zoom in the first screenshot we have down here it's a uh, WCW versus NWO World Tour. And then we have a Space World report on page 34. We'll definitely take a look at that. Snowboard Kids. And there you go. We've got the table of contents right there. Going straight down. And uh, we've got Yoshi Story. All right, so let's uh, turn the page here. And uh, this is one thing that's quite famous in classic gaming magazines, specifically Nintendo, Nintendo Power. You're gonna get some fan-made art that was submitted. And now uh, let's take a look at what we have here. What I might do is I might get a, another table. And it looks like we have a, uh, a Lynx illustration right there a Mario Kart illustration yeah look at that some pretty cool looking art we got some Street Fighter stuff going on down here that looks pretty cool and it looks like we have a fan made comic and look at all that we all know what that is look at that and we got a tank a Star Fox tank Yeah, that's pretty much it. Some pretty cool looking stuff. Alright, let's focus that right there. Let's turn the page. Alright, this is our uh, top 10 charts for the N64. At this point, uh, Golden Knight is number one on the list. 
Uh, Diddy Kong Racing is number two. Star Fox number three. Number four, Mario 64. Number five, Mario Kart 64. Number six, NFL Quarterback 98. Number seven is uh, Turok Dinosaur Hunter 8. San Francisco Rush. Nine, Extreme G. And number 10 is Bomberman 64. They also have a top 10, uh, what is this? Super Nintendo. Now at this time in 98, Super Nintendo, uh, not too many people were playing it at that point. But number one on the list is The Legend of Zelda Link of the Past, then Mario RPG, then Donkey Kong Country 3. And there you go. You can see the, uh, they also have Game Boy down here. So up here we have um, N64 Top 10, Super Nintendo Top 10, and this is the uh, Game Boy Top 10, or Top 5, they do a Top 5 for Game Boy, I guess just less games. Now this is the Most Wanted, so these are the games that are really in demand that people want. You, you can see Zelda 64 is definitely the one. Let's see if we can focus this camera right here. Zelda 64 and the N64 disk drive are the top two wanted wanted things the most that people want like right now as we speak in 98. We're time traveling back to 1998. So back in 98, that Nintendo disk drive that never came out in North America, apparently a lot of people wanted that thing. And, uh, what do we have over here? What is this? A soccer down south. So that kid is holding something to see. It looks like a Nintendo Power magazine or something. FIFA Soccer 64. It's a little article on that. All right, let's let's turn the page here, and right away we have ourselves some uh, a huge amount of Yoshi story. All right, let's look at this. It's giving us the whole concept of the game and the story behind it, screenshots. And I believe it said it was eight pages. So, so far this is four pages. All right, we got a, a Japanese screenshot right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so, so far this is four pages of Yoshi story. Six pages of all kinds of crazy stuff right here. So if you're a fan of uh, Yoshi, then here we are. Yoshi story, just eight pages. And the next page, WCW versus NWO World Tour. And now this is pretty cool. I love wrestling, so yeah, this is... If you're a wrestling fan, just look at that. You got the uh, the giant right there. He, they have a huge like article on this. As real as it gets, this is used. This is the first game that uses the AKI engine. And we got these uh, screenshots right here. We got the Ultimo Dragon right there. Some pretty cool stuff. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a Rumble Pack. So I didn't recognize that at first. Yeah, look at this. Some pretty cool stuff. And uh, this is like a little preview of the game. I'm not sure when this game came out. I'm assuming that it came out around this time. I mean, they're doing an article on it, so... We have Alex Suger right there. Hollywood Hogan, Buff Bagwell right there in the background. Yeah, they went all out for this game. So far this is four pages. Hey, right, what do we got next? Now they're listing all the wrestlers in here. They really are... I mean, look at this. This must be like... a huge thing back then. I don't think people realize how good this game was... when it came out. Like, the engine that, th that this game used was later used for Revenge. WrestleMania 2000 and uh, No Mercy, this game basically started it all. 
Uh, there was a Japanese wrestling game that came out first that used it, I believe, but this game in North America was like really good. It was pretty much bare bones, but it's really good. You get Chris Benoit, Stephen Regal, Rey Mysterio Jr. Yeah, Ric Flair, Sting. They li they're listing all the wrestlers here. Pretty cool. You got another picture of Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage. Definitely some really cool stuff here. Look at that. We got Sting down here. That is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, they actually separate the uh, the brackets. So up here you have the DOA, you got the independent bracket. That's pretty cool. You probably see a uh, AKI man. And then we have a uh, snowboard kids. Which I actually do have that game somewhere up here. Yeah, that game is actually not bad. It's a pretty fun little game to play. And this game has several pages as well. Six pages, look at this. It has a very, very nice illustrations. And here we go. <laughs> we have a Nintendo Space World. Now what else was laughing at? What's this thing? That is one big ass Pikachu right there. That, that is huge. I mean, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. Look at the uh, Nintendo Space World 97 logo right there. And uh, yeah, look at that Pikachu. It's bigger than a human being. That's a kid right there. But that's a very, very large ass, fat ass Pikachu. Look at his legs. It's like bulging out. And what do we got here? That, that is a lot of people. You won't see that happening anymore. Alright, we have uh, Lynx right there. And Zelda rides again, and these are apparently some pretty cool looking screenshots right here. Of Zelda 64. Let's see if we can get some uh, proper lighting here so you can see what we're looking at. Yeah, look at those great looking screenshots. Look at that. And this is before any of the Zelda games came out on 64. People were getting really crazy hyped for it. And there we go. My camera just went down south. Alright, let's uh, see what we have here. Sixty-four on the floor. All right. Looks like they're showing off a whole bunch of different games. So it was like a uh, Sim City sixty-four. And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that ever came out. That's a interesting screenshot right there. What? What the hell is that? What is that? Oh my god. I don't know what that is, but that's crazy. And now that is pretty cool looking, whatever that is. You got a little bit of an article right there. You can read a little bit of that. And uh, yeah, that is some cool stuff. Alright, let's uh, turn the page here, see if we can get this camera to stay still. Alright, we got the Pocket Monsters, aka Pokemon. And what do we have here? We got all these kids playing the uh, the old fashioned Game Boy. Playing Pokemon. And then we got Miyamoto down here. A picture of Miyamoto. Let's got a little bit of an interview with him. And we got uh, Pokemon Stadium screenshots. And this is Nintendo Space Roll, so this is a lot of the stuff that they are showing off. So you can tell that they were pretty stacked. Pikachu with a, a microphone. What's that all about? Super Mario RPG 2. So there we go, hinting at Super Mario RPG 2. 
And uh, that is apparently a couple of screenshots of it, which I believe that ended up being Paper Mario. That is pretty cool. And here we go. We got some cheat codes here. We got some classified information. Now let's see what kind of stuff we have here. We have, uh, if you're into playing the NFL quarterback club, there we go. Hidden teams. We got all kinds of stuff here. And then we have a San Francisco Rush. Yeah, burning cars, change size, got all kinds of crazy stuff here. There we go. And uh, right up here, Madden 64, there's apparently a couple little tricks in there. Top Gear Rally. And uh, what do we have up here? We have, is that Mace or Mage? I think it's Mace. And apparently there's a couple of sheets for that as well. Let's uh, zoom out here, get a better little view of this. All right, Clay Fighter 63 and one third, Hero Fighter Assault, Treacherous Spear, there's all kinds of stuff here. Secret of Mana. Hmm. What's that for? Super Nintendo? They have a Golden Eye one here, too. What's that say? Extra ammo. Huh. And there's a Secret of Mana. Little code, whatever that is, right there. Robotron 64, and there you go. All kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, Extreme G's right there, too. Hey, okay, let's uh, focus that camera. Wet Tricks. It's like a Tetris puzzle type game. It really doesn't look like Tetris at all, but they kind of made the, the name sound similar to it. Duke Nukem 64. Oh yeah, look at that. We got Duke Nukem right there. Yeah, I got some uh, pretty awesome bloody screenshots down here. Look at that. That's pretty nasty looking right there. And uh, this is a pretty cool game right here. Duke Nukem 64. And gives a couple of illustrations. Uh, it gives you like an old school map, like they do in a you know, old school Nintendo Power magazine. So have like a mostly all NES games, and they'll lay out like a whole map of where the platform goes and all that stuff. More screenshots and more maps. And look at that! It's like basically a walkthrough. So before you had the internet, you can look up walkthroughs nowadays like easily. This was your walkthrough right here. Look at this. Told you, it basically told you how to do everything. Pretty cool. And we, we have something right here. What is this? And what is our poster right here? It is a Yoshi Story poster. And there you go. That's pretty cool. We have ourselves a Yoshi Story poster. That's going to stay right where it is. We're going to... Fold that back up. And that's pretty funny that there is a Duke Nukem article right behind it. Rated M for mature, bloody, violence right behind the Yoshi poster. Right, let's uh, make sure that this doesn't get messed up. And what is what is this? What are we looking at here? Oh, Diddy Kong Racing. Okay, I completely missed that. I wasn't too crazy about Diddy Kong Racing. And I did, believe it or not, Diddy Kong Racing was actually the first N64 game that I actually got. And uh, I really didn't like it too much. I just didn't care for it. And I quickly, like, I started playing my PlayStation a lot more. There's tons of things here on uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Like, wow. It's like eight pages of stuff. Look at this. And we have Jeopardy. That came out of nowhere. Look at that. Alright, let's see if we can fix this page so it doesn't get messed up. Just want to make sure that this is tucked in properly. Alright, that should be good enough. Okay, so we got Jeopardy right here. 
And uh, apparently there is a Jeopardy game. On the Game Boy. So what is, what is this for? Is this, uh, is this N64? There's a Jeopardy game on N64? Really? I didn't know that. And here we go. And uh, here's a few questions. A few Nintendo Jeopardy questions right there for you guys. That's interesting. All right, let's uh, move on right here. Fighters Destiny. Now here we go. This is something interesting. So if you had a PlayStation around this time, you were probably playing Tekken 2, Tekken 3 maybe, who knows. Or uh, Battle Toshiden Arena or Battle Arena Toshiden, whatever the hell that game is called. Yeah. If you had a Saturn, you were probably playing a Virtual Fighter or a Fighter Mega Mix. And on, on the N64, this is a little unknown fighting game right here called Fighter's Destiny. And you can tell by the screenshots that it's pretty much Nintendo's answer to a Virtual Fighter and Tekken. And not too many people actually played this game. Including myself, I never really had too many hints on it. I probably actually have the game in my collection. I probably won the bet. It's probably up here somewhere. I should have that. Uh, but yeah, that's one game that really didn't get too much attention. And here we go, we got all the moves and everything, all the characters. And I'll be honest, it actually looks pretty cool. It doesn't look bad at all. And uh, different modes right here, you got survival mode. And then we have Turok. Battle of the Dinosaurs for the Game Boy. You got some classic old black and white Game Boy graphics right here. Pretty hilarious. You got some good old fashioned Game Boy screenshots. Look at that. And that's what I like to see right there. <laughs> that is what the old Nintendo Powers looked like. Excuse my stuttering right there. Old Nintendo Power magazines, like from the early 90s, late 80s. A lot of the magazines were packed full of maps like this. And uh, they, a lot of NES games were laid out just like this. So you, you can see what's up ahead. Now this is exactly what I want to see right here. This is pretty cool. Now that's for the Turok game on the Game Boy. And that is pretty awesome. You can see everything. Look at that. That is pretty cool. You know, this is basically your strategy guide for back then. So, exactly how it works. And uh, what do we have here? The uh, got a Golden Eye 64, Bomberman 64. So, a few little small articles on each game. Star Fox 64, Donkey Kong Land 3. That game looks pretty atrocious. I know it's actually a good game, but it doesn't look good on screenshots, I can tell you that. What is this? I always get distracted by stuff like this. It's a Nintendo Power exclusive Take Flight Control a uh, Flight Simulator. So real you'll need a uh, barf bag. Oh. Alright, look at that thing. That is pretty cool. So before um, Flight Simulator, the new Flight Simulator came out, the Microsoft one, yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, that thing right there, that thing looks pretty crazy looking. Yeah, more stuff right here, I guess you can fill this out, send it in. A little, this is a little contest right here.
the fidgets for the uh, Game Boy. Never actually heard of that game either, but it, again, it has the whole level laid out right there. That's pretty cool. See, look, level two, level three, level four. And then you have Jurassic Park on the Game Boy, and once again, the level is laid out, tells you where everything is. That helps quite a bit. It's better than a strategy guide, in my opinion. And uh, there you go, more map layouts. It's really, really good. I, I remember going to the uh, the library back then and uh, looking up. They had like a whole archive, like old Nintendo Power magazines. I used to look through them all to see what games I had. And uh, whatever I had, I would actually see if I can actually learn more about the game by reading the N Nintendo Power magazine. And it, it was pretty cool and it actually worked quite well. And we have scoreboards down here. And we got some gaming reviews, and here we go. Let's see what we have here. The first review that we have is WCW versus NWO World Tour. Great game. And what what did it get right here? We got a uh, seven point nine. Come on, it could be should be a little bit higher than that. So what's it lacking? On? Where's oh here we go. Graphics seven point four. The controls? Come on. The controls on this game are great. They're better than today's wrestling games. Game design, satisfaction, sound. Yeah. And then we have the uh, Snowboard Kids. What did this get? 7.5. 6.8 for what? What is Oh, Jeopardy. Okay. See, I, I never actually knew there was a Jeopardy game on N64. And we have more reviews over here. Oh, it looks like somebody got a real bad review. Oh man. Alright, Fighter's Destiny got a 7.3. Turok for the Game Boy, 6.7. And that Jurassic Park game that we were just looking at a walkthrough got a 4.5 out of 10. It looks like a Nintendo Power shit on that game. Like it's pretty bad, according to them. Alright. What do we have here? A pack watch. Inside source for all the Nintendo news. Alright, what do we got? All kinds of weird stuff here. It's like they're showing off um, a snowboarding game. It looks like 1080 degrees. It's a first look. It definitely looks, yeah, here we go. 1080 degrees, so. Yeah, that's probably when 1080 degrees first appeared inside this magazine. Here, let's go to the next page. Here right. NBA in the zone. You got some classic NBA action right there. FIFA 98. Uh, wild Choppers, whatever that is. Now we got the uh, Konami Bites. I don't know what that is. The uh, Quack is back. Dragon Quest Light. Ring Rage. Never even heard of that. And uh, like I said before, I'm a sucker for wrestling games. What is that? These appear to be Game Boy games. I never heard of that at all. That is interesting. Look at that. Since something made by Taito. Aero Gage, I have heard of that. Alright, what else we have here? Some pretty cool stuff. Alright, Looney Tunes and okay, so. It looks like for the N64, here's your lineup. Stuff that is forecast to be released. And 
Okay, let's focus that camera a little bit more. Yeah, look at that. Tons of wrestling games. Look at that. And then for the Game Boy, you know, it was a little bit later on the Game Boy. As far as releases went. But still pretty cool. And we got some more WCW vs. World Tour stuff. Coming next issue. So my camera turned off for a second. So yeah, more WCW vs. World Tour stuff. And that's a preview of the next issue. Here we have a $5 off coupon for Tetrasphere. Or uh, Mischief Makers. And uh, we have some sort of thing right here. What is this? Some sort of game? Oh, that's like a calendar. That's that's interesting. It's very thick. Like, there's actually, um... Is this is like a second poster. What is this? No, it's actually a calendar. It has all Diddy Kong racing characters on it. And this is like completely upside down. Wait a minute. I'm confused. All of a sudden everything's upside down now. What the hell? How the hell did that happen? Okay, so... This is right side up. This is upside down. Okay, so if we turn the page this way, I don't know why that happened. That is bizarre. Yeah, look at that. All this stuff on this side is upside down. Meanwhile, the rest of the magazine's facing the other direction. What the hell? That's the way the magazine was printed. That's really weird. We have a uh, top hits right here. Top 64 tips. Okay, so these are top 64 tips. And we have to turn the page backwards to see these because for whatever reason it was printed completely upside down. And I'm not sure what the deal was with that. That was really strange. A lot of various different things here. Mario Kart 64, NBA Hang Time, GoldenEye, tons of GoldenEye stuff. Look at that. Cruising USA, what a great game. And that is really bizarre. And uh, there we go. That's what the uh, that's what the internet looked like back then. Nintendo.com. Oh yeah, down here too. Look at this. It's so basic. That was the uh, late nineties. I'm still a little confused on why this happened. Like, this is all printed backwards. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we have uh, another illustration of Miyamoto up there. There's a question right here. It says, can you tell me how to get Ninja Mario in Mario 64? And now that's the answer that they gave right there. They'll have to kill you if they tell you. That's interesting. All right, let's, uh, we're literally going backwards here. This is strange. Forsaken, it's a preview of that game right there. Quest 64. Earthworm Jim 3D Dracula 3D uh, We'll see, we have NBA Courtside for the N64 Now back then this actually looked good But yeah, by today's standards that looks pretty ugly Turok 2 
And that ended up being Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. And we have a F0, a preview for that game. And here we go, we have the, uh, the cider bonus. I guess this is a little bonus on the magazine. It's really interesting. Look at all that N64 stuff right there. Tons of cool stuff here. We've got the, uh, pretty much all the stuff we just looked at. And there's the back of the magazine. This is a special bonus pocket calendar. So I guess this is a two magazines in one. Really strange. Because when you go on this side, which you'll see here, I'm going to cover it up here. You got that. And now this side is like the same thing. It's like two covers. I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, let's look at the uh, the actual magazine here for a second. Let's zoom in and take a look at that. And there it is. Nintendo Power from 98, over 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed that episode and you want to see some more Nintendo Power magazines... Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, comment down below and let me know what you think.